Hello and welcome to Blender Let's Play. I'm Sean. This is Blender. This is actually Blender this time. Yay. So I wanted to talk about how to use lamp colors in your tune shading. So if we have a look at this here, we can see that we have a sphere and three lamps in our scene. And these lamps have colors and and as we change the color, it changes the highlights on the object. And we can adjust the specular right there. And now we have three lamps, but only two of them are affecting the specular, or are affecting the color of our object here, the lamp colors, the highlights. And that is these two plain um, lamps. But you let's look at our sun lamp and it's not. That's because our sun lamp has no specular. I'm basically using the glossy shader to do this. So. If we look at our node setup here, we have basically two shaders. One is handling the base shading, the other one is handling the highlights and the speculator. The base shading is really simple. All it's doing is running a diffuse shader through a color ramp. This is the most basic tune shader you can make. And that's what it looks like by itself. The other one is doing something a little more fun. So we're taking the glossy shader, which looks like this. And we're taking the output from that. Whoa, this is needs to be more blue. Anyway, what was I saying? We're taking the output from the glossy shader and we're running that into a separate to hue saturation value. So now the hue saturation value, if you're not familiar with it, so we have the hue, the saturation, and the value. So the hue, as you can see, goes around the circle like this and kind of defines what slice of the color wheel we're on. And the saturation defines how close to, um, how much hue we have, how bright it is, I guess, how bright the color is, how vibrant the color is maybe, is another good word. And then the value defines how, how dark or light that color is. So we have our value, our saturation, and our hue. Pretty basic color stuff. And so we're taking our hue and we're just driving that into a combined hue and we're dropping like everything else. That's what that looks like. So everything else is just set to one manually, basically. Anyway, so you can mess with it, make the saturation not as defined or the value darker if you want. And so we're running this into a mixed node. Now we're mixing that with our base shading and our colored shading here using this color ramp. Now this color ramp is taking the output from our glossy shader, which looks like this after the color ramp. And we're just feeding that into the factor and we get this, voila. Overall, it's kind of ridiculously simple. So that's the basics. And if you want to make it more complicated, you can try to mix in the saturation um, from here, which I have done in a, another shader. So now I get to show off my tune shader, which is fun. This is basically built into it. So you can have the lamps just like this, use lamp color, and we also have use lamp saturation, so we can set that as well. And so this is automatically handling everything I was mentioning before. So we can just set, do we want to use the lamp color, yes or no? And we can set the saturation, yes or no? And then we can set the shading mask to make it lighter or darker, just like this, boom, boom, boom. So we can define how much of that we want. And not only that, but you can mix them. So you can take the diffuse, you can throw it in here. You can throw this, yep, just like that. But this time we want to set the lamp color to, we don't want to use the lamp color. We don't want to use the lamp saturation either. And we want this to be maybe middle of the road, 0 0.5, right? And now all we want to do is add a mix shader. So mix. And we can just plug this right into there. Plug this right into there and drop the value of this into the factor. And so now we have what we just built, but we're using the sunscreen tune shader instead, which has everything built in for that. 
So I was going to try to sell this, but it's been like a year and I haven't touched it. I'm realizing that I'm probably not going to put the work into actually selling this properly. So yeah, this will be available for free on BlendSwap. Link in the description. I might put it on the card here. Yay for supporting Blender community. And so that, you're welcome. And this is the end of the video. Unless you're curious about what's inside this thing, then stick around and we'll see if I can make sense of this thing that I built a year ago. So yeah, the important bit over here is marked in red. How wonderful. This is the highlight here. And the factor here is the um, use lamp hue setting right there. And this next one over here is the use lamp saturation or lamp saturation. And then this is the shading, which I think is just coming from the output of this, whatever the input output of that is, which I think is we're taking this guy, just this glossy shader, and we're running that through here, just like we were before. So we're just taking the, satur the hue from this and we're dropping the hue into the combined hue saturation value. And so the factor of the use lamp hue is running into this mix node, which is basically just saying, hey, do we want to use this or not? Which I guess we're just passing in this highlight instead, which is just the highlight color. So we're either passing in the highlight color or the hue from this guy. As for the saturation goes, we're ha passing in the saturation and we're just mixing in the saturation from the highlight with the saturation from the lamps to this guy. And we change the saturation of this. It should in theory, if we turn the lamp saturation down to zero, but we're adjusting the, still we, we're still adjusting the saturation here. Interesting. If you want to dig around more, I'll leave a link to the description to this guy. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful. And with that, you're welcome.